Welcome to Star Wars Action News, helping Star Wars collectors collect better. Hey everybody, Andrew here, and in just a couple days, we're going to be treated to a new Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi. Now, in celebration of that, I decided that I would do some unboxing videos for you. It's been a while since I've done some Hot Toys unboxing, so I thought that I would take this perfect occasion to go ahead and start back up again. Uh, so I chose a couple of figures that I'm going to do leading up to the movie. Uh, the first one is Ray, Resistance Ray. Now, while this is technically a Force Awakens figure, I figured it fit in pretty well since this movie is going to start right where the last one left off. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The other reason that I waited this long was, if you'll remember, um, a little over a year ago, we were um, embroiled with Raygate when our friend Justin found Resistance Ray in stores and a whole bunch of craziness ensued. So I figured if I just wait, there won't be any backlash from companies to, you know, get us to take the video down. All right. All joking aside, I am really looking forward to opening up this figure. I actually prefer this costume to the uh, one that Ray wears throughout the uh, Force Awakens. Um, I just think it looks a little bit more more classic than uh, the original Ray. So there's the packaging. Nothing uh, too exciting to see there on the outside. Standard box. Of course, the holding out the lightsaber pose, which is probably how just about everybody has this one pose in their house, since that's really the only pose that she can really do from that source material, since she's only in this outfit for all two minutes walking up those steps. Some of this plastic off anyway. All right, so yeah, standard uh, body like uh, we saw with the previous version. The uh, really thin hair tentacles, as I like to call them, hanging down in front of her ears. She looks pretty sharp. Good articulation there. The clothes are a little, a little snug, so that always kind of hinders a little bit, but she can crouch down pretty good. Not a lot of articulation in the ankles because of those boots. There's pretty much zero bend in the ankle. That's about all you get. So not a lot of flexibility there. Of course, you can twist them a little bit, but nothing really in the back and forth motion. Nice vest and outfit, like the little holster there. Nice detail with the itty bitty little rivets. The head looks to be very similar to the previous one. In fact, let me get her down. You can do a little comparison here. I think it's exactly the same, but it's it's pretty pretty darn close. Might just be a little bit different paint. But other than that, no, I think it's the exact same. Exact same headpiece. So really, it's just like a Barbie doll where there's, you know, the same figure, just, you know, different outfit. And let's see what else we got. We got six hands, pretty standard. You got the blaster holding hand and the relaxed hand, the, the fist, and of course the lightsaber wielding hand. Speaking of which, we do have the infamous Luke Skywalker lightsaber hilt. There's no blade, which I guess makes sense since she doesn't light it up in the movie, but would have been kind of nice to have that just for the uh, leading into the, the uh, Last Jedi. Because um, I know that, you know, she ignites it there from the trailer. So then we've got the blaster that was given to her by her father figure Han. And of course, her 
staff, which is identical to the staff from the previous version. We've got the uh, little bag that she's carrying up those steps to. And of course, the standard boring old figure stand with the Resistance Rebel logo on it. So nothing to see there. All right, well, uh, pretty standard, straightforward figure. I do like the, uh, the detail. And I remember from the uh, previous Ray that the uh, center of balance on this figure is incredible. She can crouch down and get in a fighting stance um, really well without having any fear of her really falling over. Plus, of course, there's an earthquake. Uh, but uh, but um, I really liked this figure the first time around, um, and there's really no complaints here on the second one, um, other than maybe it would have been nice if they had included the piece for the lit lightsaber. But um, nitpicking, as usual, um, lots of uh, really good detail in the uh, stitching of the uniform. Yep, another great figure, and uh, look for another uh, unboxing coming out tomorrow. See you guys. Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Star Wars Action News with more collecting news and reviews at SWActionNews.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. May the pegs be stocked and the Force be with you.